about to do a race here at Melbourne. Give you some tips on how to get to the front of the race and get a trophy. So what we're going to be doing here is moving along an inside track. My goal is to try to get into the top 10 before the first lap is over with. It's um, real difficult this first lap because the robot cars are extremely aggressive on the first lap. So there, see they're trying to spin me out. I'll see if I can, no I'm not going to try to take them in this chicane. I'm just going to go ahead and move through. Even being in the in 11 spot is okay because I'm so close here. So coming down this uh, front stretch, I should be able to. Uh, there, yes. Hold that position. That's the eighth spot. And here for the final final four laps of this race, I have to just pick them off one at a time. You really want to try to be in the in one of those top ten spots, even if it's uh, ten or ninth. Let me see if I can, yeah, get out of my way. I got one of them in the chicane. That's a real tough spot to try to pass. But, um, what in the world? Did he just run me off the road? My primary tip here is to make sure that when you're passing, you try to stay on the inside when you're passing. I don't know why these cars are being so aggressive right now. I'm getting a check uh, check notification on my Wi-Fi. And I have a Bugatti that won't get out of my way, but I got him here. Alright, so now I'm in the top five. This guy, I'm going to take him right here. Alright, so now i got to start looking for the podium spots. Alright, so there are two podium finishes right there. So I really have to get moved on. I have to get this turn here without sliding so I don't lose any space there on these cars. But i got to catch them here. I don't know where first place is. It's hard to see out of this cockpit on this Agera. Alright. So here's this chicane. Try to straighten it out. Take him on this first turn. Get up on this Bugatti. I usually turn, uh, pass right there, but it's really not necessary because I don't see first place. He's probably gotten out on all of us. Why aren't my, you know, my brakes didn't work in that turn? I don't know why. I have a car right up on my tail. So he's given up his spot, so I'll take that. And there's first place. A hundred yards ahead, and he's booking. And I'm still slamming in the turns. I'm trying to take my turns too tightly. I'm going to be happy with this second place finish. As this guy is moving. That's a Bugatti, I believe. I was in a, a, a Aguera, and I tore the fender off of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick replay. So remember, 
um, for you guys that are just beginning for the Melbourne track you want to ensure that before that first lap is over that let's watch from the chase cam that you get inside that top 10 and the way you pass this first batch of cars these trail cars is you have to move inside right here you see how I'm passing all these cars and you're going to be going slow enough on that first turn that you won't slide and you've got to remember you're at a disadvantage in that if the robot cars touch you see I got hit right there that's what happened to me so let's look at that again you can see how I ended up and now I know how I ended up in the wall bam he hit my my left right quarter panel he hit, he hit me you gotta remember also that if a robot car rubs you it scrubs off major speed you will not accelerate so this is all I'm doing is I'm passing on the inside primary reason for passing on the inside is that if you pass on the outside you um, have a chance of uh, slamming into the wall but as you see me I'm slamming into the wall anyway so I didn't actually meet my goal of getting into 10th place before the first lap but at least I made some passes here I got hit again that's the second lap I got on my uh, right quarter panel okay all right so that's good enough so you see me passing on the inside so um if you have any questions about melbourne melbourne is a difficult track i've already won this race i don't know why this car is being so aggressive yeah and it was it was a bugatti veron um the grand sport vatis that beat me and um my lap times were three seconds faster than him. I actually should have been running fifties, but um, I wasn't. I wasn't concentrating as good as I should have been. I um, was talking, and it kind of probably took away from my uh, driving ability. But if you have any questions, let me know and uh, keep practicing. Drive Melbourne backwards a few times. You can drive backwards as much as possible. The best time to do it is on the time trial. So just use a time trial. Just flip the car around. Drive backwards. If you can drive that track backwards, when you drive it the right way, it'll be a whole lot easier. So that's all I have for you. And uh, have a nice evening.